of the Lewis structure of CHNH2 2 plus. So I'm looking at this compound here. I'm looking at which guy is the most, uh, what is the most, uh, or the least, sorry, least electronegative. In this case here, it's going to be this carbon here, right? So my carbon is going to be in the middle. Uh, it's going to be in the middle here. It's going to be bonded to the hydrogen. And then it's going to be bonded also to this nitrogen, uh, nitrogen kind of ion here, right? And I have a charge of two plus here, so... Let's see, um, if I'm gonna form a bond with nitrogen here, and this guy also has H and H as well. Um, so I have, I have everything written down here, but again, this carbon here, it needs to form four bonds, right? So which means therefore I'm gonna have a triple bond on, uh, on this nitrogen here. Cause then if I have a triple bond, it will grab me, it will have my two plus here, right? So I'm, I'm gonna have, one, two, and three. This will satisfy the carbon here, and the nitrogen is gonna have one, two, three, four, five bonds, which will contain my two plus charge here. So this solution, so this here is the um, is the diagram for CHNH2, two plus. And if we wanna write the Lewis structure here, uh, you can simply replace the dots with, the, uh, with electrons here. So it depends on how you wanna write this down. Um, but this is also equal to, actually, the, I, I, I don't want to use that arrow here. This is also equal to, if I wrote an H here, I write two dots, right, and here, I write two dots again, and then write H here. And then this guy here would have, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I write carbon, and then this one would be hydrogen here, and I would have a two plus charge on this nitrogen here. So this is kind of a Lewis dot. Um, as well, but let's see what they wrote here. So it says you can draw, um, you draw it with two n bounded to the central atom, which bears a positive charge by single bonds. Each nitrogen has two hydrogens here. Oh, I th oh, okay, okay. I think I know what they did. So this is actually, so I think the notation here is wrong. So I thought it was two plus as the charge, but I think it's um, subscript two with the positive charge here. So this here. So I wrote this wrong here. So I think it's, it's, it's uh, they're asking for this kind of compound. They're asking for this compound. So yeah, that's the limitation of the struct, the uh, formatting issue here. But let me let me write this down for you. So I have C, and then I bond H here. And I have, I mean, I have two nitrogens, right? So I'm gonna bond, this is going to be bonded to one. This is gonna be bonded to two. And both of these guys also have hydrogens, right? So there's hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here. And then my positive charge is going to be um, in the central atom here. So this is going to be a positive charge here. So this here is my compound here. And what I can do is I can then draw the Lewis dot diagram. Right? So again, I put the least electronegative atom first, which is carbon, which is bonded to hydrogen. So it makes a single bond of hydrogen. And then finally, I know it's gonna be bonded to two nitrogens, which are also bonded to two hydrogens here. So that's how I form my diagram here. So C, I can sharing with this H here. I have a positive charge on carbon, sharing with also with N. This shares with H, H as well. This shares with an N, which is also sharing with H and H here. So this here is the Lewis structure um, for this compound here. Maybe I can bring this guy down to this side here. Or let me, uh, let, let me draw this geometrically correct, actually. So the hydrogens would be somewhat like this. And the hydrogens would not be like this, but they would be kind of like this. So this here is my structure for this compound here. So this here is my structure. So the Lewis structure for the CH and H2, 2, and then the positive charge on the carbon here. So, um, so it says here, you draw it with two and nitrogens bound to the central atom, which is good, which bears a positive charge by single bonds or if you're using dot notations or pair of electrons, if you're using dot notation, that's good. Each nitrogen also has two hydrogens bond to it by single bonds, and each of the nitrogens has a lone pair, uh, pair of electrons on it as well. So the solution here is correct. Um, you can also think of 
this as there's a there's a lone pair here um, the the lone pair here would be kind of kind of like here I'll, I'll do them blue and it'll help repel these hydrogens and that's why I, I wrote it as a diagonal kind of figure instead of a tetrahedral like so so I, I forgot to include the lone chart lone pairs here but this here is our correct solution so this I can say the solution is correct solution is correct I'll say good analysis as well